is basically the common auto reply option. This is um, what, how it works. And we also have a customer success story. This story is about the power of common auto replies. We have a client who runs resale platform and post available goods in their Instagram account. They were facing some real challenges like communication with their subscriber was taking up a lot of time and they just didn't have the resources for an effective communication or to for lead generation. So they decided to try it out comments and replies. It meant that they could quickly respond to questions and comments about price, availability, and the condition of goods. They also set up a welcome message and auto sent promo codes to all the commenters on their Instagram post. What was the result? They saw a 37% increase in conversion and the cost per client lower to less than $2. So, in my opinion and on everybody's opinion, this is a great example of how using comment or re auto replies can boost yourselves. So, this is a, su a success story, and we are going to practice again. We're going to practice right now the common auto reply option. Let's find out how to enable automated replies to comments under your Facebook or Instagram post. So I'm going to share my screen once again. Okay, let me check here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same steps. We go to our about, um, we click in automation, and then after automation, we click in close. So this is what we were working on, which is ads. But we're going to check right now, comment, auto reply. So I'm going to go to entry points. In entry points, I'm going to look for the option, comment, auto reply. I'm going to check this out. And let's see. This is the comment, auto reply entry point. This allows you to comment on a public way or on a private way. What do I mean? You can decide to reply, let's say you are selling a pair of shoes and people is commenting under your post, like I want information or just info or just information, or I want to know the price. So you can decide if your replies to those uh, users or commenters within the same comment that they made, or if you don't want to comment them or if you don't want to share the price in public or for any kind of reason that you might have, you can also send them the information directly to their inbox or to their to them their DMs. So this is how it is pre-configured. This appears as the default for this window that we have on the right. We cannot remove it. Um, if we drag the cursor here, we can just see that we have just two options. I'm going to delete it here to show you the two options that we have. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We can add the reply box or we can use the outer reply chat GPT. So you can decide if you use um, pre let's say, all the information which is by default, or if you're not, if you're gonna use any kind of dynamic text by ChatGPT. Let's use this one. I'm gonna add this reply. On the first part of the entry point, we find a section to select if I'm gonna use the same setup for all posts, or if I'm gonna use the um, this setup just for a specific post. If I click in a specific post, it is going to give me the option to select one post. So 
it is going to show me the option within the post, the available post that you can select. You can add images, uh, you can add text post, video post, or any kind of post. Take, keep in mind that this is going to be just for regular post. If you are going to use a boost post or a promoted post, or if you're going to use an ad post, then you will need to use other entry point, which is this one. Please um, make sure that you're going to use that kind of post for this one. And this is going to be available for Facebook only. The boost post option is still not available on Instagram, but we're working on it to have it available in a future. So we're focusing right now in the Facebook option and in the comment or reply option just for regular post. So we have the option here. You can add a generic answer for all comments or you can add some specific answers for some specific words, which is the keywords. Let's um, take in count the example of the pair of shoes. Let's see if the people is asking, if your customers are asking for the price, so you can add the price keyword. You can um, add the word cost, uh, the word info, or the word, uh, let's say, information. You can also use um, emojis because some people, they comment with emojis. Let's say that they are gonna use, they are using the any kind of sign. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Or let's say they are using this smile face. So you can also use emojis or you can also use uh, signs. If some people, they just add like the dollar sign here so I can put the dollar sign and so on. So we can, you can select any information, you can add any kind of keywords and the bot is gonna be able to identify all those words and provide a reply. You can either connect it to the same generic answers that is going to apply the all common option or you can also create another answer i can open just another square here another box with the information here and we can create two different replies once for all comments in the all comment section we can use like um hi how can we help you something like that because that's gonna apply for all comments we don't know what are they gonna put so you can just ask them how you can help them and let's say if they are asking for the price you can also reply to them oh the price is 100 dollars this is just the public reply the reply that everybody is going to be able to see if you want to share some information like uh in a public way we can also connect this one here we can connect it here and let's say if you want to send some information um privately you can send, you can tell them uh please let us know if you have any additional questions, we are happy to help you. And this is gonna arrive in their inbox or in their DM. That's where it's gonna arrive here. And this one, private reply to. Since we already shared the price, you can also ask like something like, would you like, would you like to buy them? and continue with the interaction. So this is just the generic uh, replies, the public one, the private one. You can decide which one uh, you wanna use. If for some reasons you just want to use the, the private one, you can just um, 
leave just a private one. If you want to um, like the comments, like add a like, um, you can also enable this option here so you can like all the comments um, on the section, on the post. So this is how we can set up this comment auto reply option. If for some reasons you wanna use ChatGPT, let's say that we're gonna use ChatGPT here, you just click in ChatGPT. And this is the same ChatGPT box that we saw in the previous example, is the same one. You just need to fill the information about your company, company name, company phone number, company description, instructions, and so on. So this is um, how you can uh, set it up, either with AI, which is this one through ChatGPT, or um, generic uh, responses here. And of course, you can continue with the flow after this. You can just click here and connect it to any part of the flow. Let's say it can be text and button option and so on.